Happy Friday, everybody. It's Maria with the Welcome Home team. And behind the camera? Hi, everybody. It's Corey. <laughs> Thanks, Corey. And today we are so excited to be at Coach's Corner in Ridgefield Park. So as uh, many of you know, Rich and I are both from Ridgefield Park, and uh, it's near and dear to our hearts. And Coach's Corner is a place that Rich spends quite a bit of time in. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> so I'm here today with Coach Ted Tabasco and Kathy Tabasco, um, and thank you for being here. Well, thank you for coming. We appreciate it. All right. So give us a little background. How did Coach's Corner come to be? So, well, number one, we've always been in the food business. My husband, uh, going back years ago, his parents owned a luncheonette in North Bergen. Then when we got married and moved to Ridgefield Park 30 years ago, we actually opened up a deli on Teaneck Road by Chestnut Street Park. We had that until we had kids. My husband was a police officer, so when he retired, uh, you know, it was like time to start doing something else. And this came about, and we lost the first bid on it because someone else had already bought it. And it turns out that they didn't, I guess, want to make it the way we had it, you know, thought it should be. And they called us and said, hey, do you want to buy it? We were like, yeah, and we came in here, we brought the deli in, you know, because it was all just the way Wayne's used to have. It used to be Wayne's old yeah. store. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, Wayne's was the candy store I used to come to 55 years ago when I lived up the block. And um, and I used to love to get a vanilla egg cream here, which I understand you may be bringing back, so That's I'm correct. excited about that. Yes. Uh, yeah. So well, anyway. we actually, we have, the, we'll get back to the but we have the original machine here. Oh my gosh. We are actually waiting to see. We're trying to get somebody who could refurbish the machine we'll for them. us because it's been uh, I think I many know years. That. Chris, you may be watching. You, maybe you're up for this task. Yeah, so. so we actually still have all of the parts, everything to, to go with it. So we may be bringing that back. But anyway, so when this came about, we, we came in here, we looked at it, so we said, all right, let's do it. Six weeks later, after we refurbished, we you know had to this is actually the original counter under here that was here from Wayne's. Um, we just put the new countertop on and we brought the deli and all the, the grill and all the equipment in here. And uh, two years later, we're still here going strong. Yeah, it just had an anniversary. Yes, That's I, correct. as a matter of fact, February 18th, on my birthday, so he can never forget. <laughs> 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 it worked out well that it opened on my birthday. So yeah, February was our two years. Um, and he's here six days a week. And where's Tell us the, the origin of the name. Uh, I'm a coach. I coach 7th and 8th graders at uh, Little Ferry Richfield Park PAL, and I've been doing that for almost 20 years. So uh, we were riding in a car one day on a highway, and uh, I said, you know what? Coach's Corner sounds like a good name. That's, that's how it worked. Because that, well, that's all he's ever done. He's coached, he's saying 20 years. He's coached football. Um, wrestling, baseball, he's coached it all. I coach cheerleading, so we've, it's, we've always coached because we're all about helping kids out and, you know, giving back he, to the neighborhood. always give it back. And he, he's a firm believer that uh, sports That's is cool. as important as a core, the core curriculum that the kids have to make it well-rounded and have a place to go. So it was only, it was a perfect fitting name that he chose Coach's Corner. So one of the things I love about Coach's Corner, besides the fact that they have chuckles in the candy section, <laughs> uh, my favorite, uh, yes. they've also got an assortment of stuff that you need in the house. Like, oh my gosh, I'm out of saltines or, or salt or pickles, whatever. So yeah. uh, one reason I don't mind Rich hanging out here so much, because he, <laughs> he can bring home whatever I That's need. That's not what he says. <laughs> So, but tell us, tell us some of the specials here. All right. So, well, he he's very known and very popular for his Italian heroes. His Italian heroes are like off the chart. I mean, like nice thick sandwiches, not you know, not these two slices of meats. Um, but he has an amazing breakfast trade that uh, he does all sorts of breakfast sandwiches. We came up with a hobo two years ago, which is hash browns on top of your eggs and the cheese, all and having everything all in one. Whether you want the tail of ham. Um, and of course, the quintessential, as everybody knows, you got to have your tail of ham, egg, and cheese. <laughs> um, and then we run daily specials. So, you know, we have meatball Mondays, cheesesteaks are on Tuesdays. You know, it's like different days we have different specials. Like today, since it's Lent area, the time of year, so we have eggplant. Oh, um, yeah. And French onions. Yeah. 
So we make a lot of, we make all homemade soups. All of our specials are all homemade items. Um, and uh, we also do a lot of catering as well. We offer catering, whether it's sandwich platters or hot foods. Um, I think on my catering menu has like 70 different items for people to choose from. Really? Yes. That's exciting. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And um, I'm looking at a flyer here for the Elks. So. Yeah. So, well, we like I said, we try to help out a lot of organizations in town other than just making benefiting ourselves. So the Elks offer a dinner every Tuesday night for $10, and all of their mon funds that they raise, they donate to the police, the fu fire department, the ambulance. They do a lot of special needs programs, so they help everybody else. So us helping to advertise for them, um, you know, if it gives them a few extra meals, that does good. And my, and my love, Rotary. Yes. So as, every, as everybody above. knows, <laughs> Richfield Park was always known for their fireworks. Mm -hmm. And about 10, 12 years ago, it got too expensive. They couldn't do it. Um, so the Rotary, uh, Richfield Park Pagoda Rotary is celebrating their 100th year. Uh, and they decided that they wanted to bring back the fireworks. So what they're doing is they are selling 50-50 tickets. It's $100 a ticket. We're only selling 500 tickets. So if we sell them all, it's... $25,000 to the winner and the fireworks this year is actually on July 5th because July 4th is a Sunday so you can come, come here enjoy. you can come here buy your tickets and maybe win 25000 <laughs> <laughs> and get a great Italian oh hero God. at the same time <laughs> yeah his, his yeah. sandwiches like I said he's, he, he makes nice thick sandwiches and it's delicious that's Richard <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so great catering great sandwiches yeah you know what? We try to make it uh, like a really, a really great neighborhood atmosphere in here. You know, we, we try to get to know everybody. We have uh, the regular guys who come here. They hang out. They sit down at the table. You know, I have other people who come here and like, oh my God, we could still sit at the counter. And you know, they come here just to enjoy, just not even just having a sandwich, just enjoying it's a talking. Yeah. It really is. It really is. And we, you know, and uh, especially during COVID, when everybody was like all standoffish they were like oh you still let us talk to you and you know and it was it was nice that you could do that for people Super. yeah Super. so anything you want to uh leave our viewers with before we sign off listen i'm telling you you got to come here and you have to try your sandwiches <laughs> you absolutely will not be disappointed this is um, the cheese of richfield park that's it there you go come and enjoy <laughs> that's it you can stay a while we don't mind and uh we're good. Thanks for being with us. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.